verbalisti. Moja jezička mreža. The first thing they see is the outside of the stadium and the size of the football ground, but when they come in it's a different kettle of fish, it's a huge wow factor. A huge wow factor. What a weekend it is, you know. I've done the tour of Old Trafford Museum today. But tomorrow they're having a little five-a-side game on at Old Trafford as well. How many kids can say they've, they've done that, you know what I mean? And, before going to see Manchester United play against Palace, you know, the whole weekend from it is a, We deliver our course uh, all over the world in 80 different countries, so from Japan to China to Italy, Scandinavia. And on every course that we do, every single player will have a chance to go through three different tests. And then obviously the winner of each course is invited back to Manchester for the World Skills Final. Well, I think that the thing that has got them here is dedication and practice and enjoyment. I think they should continue to do that. And if they do that, whatever uh, facet of life they decide to, to, uh, to get involved in, they'll do very well at that. This is the dribbling test. It's a test player's ability to run in with the ball, um, changing direction, which is very important for any player. Uh, the test itself is set for 30 seconds, where every player uh, is trying to get around the mannequins to accumulate points which go towards their total points at the end. The best teams have got at least one player who can do something on his own, either score a goal or by creating goals on his own. It's the difference between the, the very, very top teams and the ones the rest of the pack. This is what we call our short passing test, where players will receive the ball, take it into the centre of the pitch, and then we're looking at our accuracy of trying to make the pass into the goal. If you look, uh, who's playing in the Premier League now. You know, we've got players from all over the world. I'm from Denmark. I'm from Malaysia. I'm from Canada, Nova Scotia. These days you have to be very, very comfortable on the ball. You know, your touch has got to be good, you've got to have great co close control, and your technical ability now has got to be highly impressive. So again, our test over here is the ball control. Different distances depending on different age groups, which means then it makes a fair test for an eight-year-old against a 17-year-old. And at the end, we'll, we'll add up all the scores they've um, achieved from each test. And then again, at the end, we'll have our overall winner. And then that will be our winner of the skills final. I think it's a great experience for yeah. us players to learn uh, how to best play. Yes, brilliant. And then it's also very important for us to know where the best players in the world, you know, like Cristiano Ronaldo, David Beckham played. We go to Old Trafford tomorrow where we'll do an on-field activity. And once we finish our activity, uh, before the game, we will then announce the winner. I'm looking very forward to it, but it's also pretty nerve-wracking because there are 76,000 people watching us, so it's exciting and nerve-wracking at the same time. Uh, unbelievable. It's a big Premier League game. Um, family are here as well, so the 44 boys and girls who come over, they've had a fantastic weekend, but of course the, uh, the, the person who wins it, you know, there'll be a, a, an unforgettable experience uh, which they'll look back on for the rest of their lives. happy and I've been a big surprise and I didn't think I would win it. Yeah, it is the best day in my life. Verbalisti. Moja jezička mreža.